Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben and today we are going to be checking out the magic of Shehezere, however you say that. Anyway, it's a game on the Nintendo Entertainment System from 1989, uh, Culture Brain, which I believe also did uh, Little Ninja Brothers. So if you're curious about that, definitely check it out after this video. Um, I was introduced to this game several, several years ago, found it at a yard sale, and actually was very surprised. It, um, kind of hard to describe how it is. It's almost like a uh, part Zelda, you know, overhead adventure type deal, but it also has some, like, Dragon Quest-esque, uh, fights to it, as well as some, like, army base fights. It's... It's really unlike anything I've ever played before. So anyway, let's let's just go ahead and check it out here. Uh, there we go. Enter your name. We'll do Duck. Why not? Duck. Yes. One day, peaceful Arabia was attacked by by the demons. The evil magician Sabaron summoned them from the Dark World for his evil desire. One brave magician attempted to fight him, but he failed, and his sweetheart was taken and all his memories erased. That sounds awful. He was even thrown into a different time period. Do you remember this? The young magician is you. Only you can save Arabia. Please fight Sabaron again. I'm Coronia, the Time Spirit. I was searching for you. Only you can beat Sabaron. Help us. Yes. Please select Arabian class. Uh, we'll just go with the basic fighter. I forgot that it it had classes too. Uh. And also, obviously, this is a Arabian slash uh, Middle Eastern uh, inspired game, um, which I think this setting in particular is criminally underused in RPGs. Well, in any game, really. Oh, you are the great magician Isfa's descendant. Welcome back to Arabia. You will depart to defeat Sabaron, won't you? Sabaron took away the great Arabian king Faisal and his four princesses. Yes, your sweetheart princess, she Shezerade. Two. Duck. Find Sabaron and defeat him. You're the only hope for Arabia. You can do it. First, talk to the town people. Press start button and select speak. You talk to people with the B button. Listen to the people of the town. And, of course, you have to do the, uh, talk? No. Duck, you can save Arabia like Isfa. Duck, you are having a hard time, aren't you? Your sweetheart, Princess Shizarade, is taken away by Sabaron. Yeah, thanks for mentioning it. I like how these people have uh, their their bodies facing forward even though they're moving to the side and stuff. Guy's got an impressive mustache though. There's a demon's palace somewhere. I heard Sauberon was there. You will meet some wonderful friends. Well, that's, that's nice. Okay, I know, we gotta listen to the people of the town. A pretty desolate town. May the blue star spirit Aroshi, the Arabian guard, guardian de deity, bless you. Rudoria is to the north. May the blue stars. Okay. All right, we've been double blessed. This is the town of Mashudo. This guy looks like he has some weapons. Select the sword or the magic by the start button. Sword. Arg! I didn't mean to hurt you. But it told me to select it. 
Prepare for travel at the shop. Bread restores your health. Mashroom restores your NP. Uh, oh, hey, we can get a loan. Bread, mushroom, carpet, and R seed. Guess we'll hold off for now. All right. I'm pretty sure this game also has a day and night cycle, which is kind of uh, interesting for a game of its time. Anyway, we'll go ahead and make our way through here. And I want to say, yeah, enemies can randomly appear. Hey, we got a one, one copper. Always thought the music was really good in this game too. Uh oh. How did he hit me? There we go. We got. We got. We took care of the ruffians. I want to see if I can get into one of those. Uh, one of those aforementioned army fights or one of the dragon quest fights dragon quest esque i should say holy crap he is that hurt we need to we need to get some uh bread and mushroom do i have a oh hey i wonder how damaging that is Dirk's level rises. Maximum health has become 58. Maximum health, or er, MP. Memorize Pampoo. Okay, well, I actually think I like the rod better. What is Pampoo? Oh, restore my health. Okay. Oh, I could have held off on that. Oh, no. Yeah, we are ab absolutely slaughtering them. With the rod. entirely sure where we need to go. I guess we need to cross this. It looks awfully dangerous. Oh, but we're good. Listen to the people of the town. Alright, so we got to another town. Oh yeah, I forgot. We gotta equip speak before we can speak. Use the magic of Oprin here. Jad is saying some strange things lately. Welcome to Redoria. Are you Isfa's descendant? If so, defeat Sabaron. When you defeat Sabaron, you have your friends with you. I heard the moving lake is somewhere in this world. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and go to the shop. Go ahead and get a bread. Holy crap. It's going to take all my money. How do I cancel? Oh, you can even... Yeah, let's ask for a discount. Okay, I would say that is a um, sizable discount. 
So we're uh, we're shrewd uh, consumers. Find Farouk. He's the servant of Isfa. He will be helpful. They say there is a secret at the bottom of the moving lake. I am he who they call Jad, and a strange one I be. To the east on a pier was a door which came free, and behold, fifty years in the past I did see. It may sound like a dream, but I saw it, trust me. All right. Baruch used to be in this world fifty years ago. You go there, you can find him. This is probably a hotel. Let's go ahead and do that to get our magic back up. Dad is saying some strange things lately. They say there is a secret at the bottom of the... Okay. So... Oh, man, and we used Oprin. It said use Oprin here, but... It just, uh, it, it used up my health, or it used up my magic. Alright. We're not gonna worry too much about that. Let's... Get our sword and rod back, or our rod, rather. Duck, use the magic of Oprin. Okay. Look, I found a secret entrance. Okay, that's convenient. I would have never found that on my own. This is the magic field. Person who planted a seed a long time ago will see a great harvest. Oh. Okay. So, and I forgot that there was time traveling uh, in this game. And the seed, I'm assuming, is something we pick up in the first town, but I'm not going to go back at this point. Oh, here it is. Um, I guess we will fight. We don't have a partner. But I guess we'll fight alone. Duck brandish the magic rod. Ooh. Alright, yeah, we may, uh, we may need to run from this. But anyway, I just wanted to, to show that it, that it also has this. This type of, um, battling also. It's just a very unique game, I would say. But there is no trooper here. Okay. You have escaped. Thank goodness. Oh! And suddenly, bandits. Alright. Well, anyway, I think that'll do it for this episode. You kind of get an idea of it. But like I said, if you want to check it out, it's called The Magic of Shehazarade, or however you say that. It's on the NES. Kind of cool. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, give it a like. Consider subscribing. We'll be back with more soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.